Hey folks, in this episode, what we're going to be doing is talking about two analytical functions from SQL Server, lag and lead, and they're pretty much opposites of each other. Uh, let me just run through this uh, select statement really quickly. So what we're looking at, we basically have an employee table. We've got the employee, their salary, their department, and their hire date. The hire date we're not really going to be doing anything with. But the way that this works, okay, the way it works is that let's say that you want to show the next salary below this person. Well, how would you do that? Well, there's an analytical function called salary or called lag, which means that you're you're saying lag and then you're taking the salary, but then you have to put an over and then an order by salary. Okay? And I'm going to call this previous. Just look at how it works. So what happens is Allentown, because we're living here in Allentown, and he only makes 14000 a year. You know why? Because <laughs> they've been closing all the factories down. <laughs> I hope you're Billy Joel fans. Look at this. So when we have this previous, which is this line here, there isn't anything here because there's nobody that makes less than him. But if we come to Sean Moransky, who makes 16000 see, now there is somebody that makes less than him. Uh, Sean Moransky makes sixteen, but this guy makes fourteen. But watch. See? That's where it gets the fourteen from. And then this guy, eighteen. Well, it's sixteen. Eighteen, one, eighteen. So all lag does is it takes, you know, like the next lowest value and puts it in a field for you. And you might not think that's really helpful because when are you going to use that in real life? And it's a challenge to come up with real world examples of when you would use something like that. But trust me, as long as you know how this works, all of a sudden you'll be at work no matter where, what kind of industry you're in. And then all of a sudden it's going to dawn on you, oh, now I can use lag and lead for this. And you're going to feel like a genius. Like I did about a month ago when I was looking at sys objects and sys columns and trying to map out table fields. I have a video coming out on that in a while, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, so let's go on to the next. Now what I'm going to do is, wait a second here. So anyway, you see this, right? So we've got the, we've got the previous. Now we're going to do lead. Oh, by the way, let me just back up here. When you do lag, the first one, the lowest value, it doesn't have a lag. But the highest value does have a lag. The difference is with lead, lead takes the one that's above it. So here, it's just basically like the opposite. So here, Mr. Allen Town, 14,000, the next person that gets more compensation than him gets 16. But the person at the bottom... I can just grab that. Thank you. See, now that's null. So, you know, and if you really wanted to dress this up, you could use like an is null function and just make it blank or something like that. But since it's a number, you probably couldn't do that unless you converted everything to text, which is a big pain in the neck. Okay, so now let's go here. Now, what I'm going to do, I moved salary. See, salary is down here between lag and lead. See, up here, salary's been on the top the whole time, but now I'm going to sandwich it in between lag, salary, and lead. So in every record going across, we'll see lag, salary, and lead, and it should go smallest, medium, greatest. So let's take a look and check it out. And so now we do, and remember, the first one is not going to have a lag, and the last one is not going to have a lead. But everything else, unless, you know, two people in a row make the same amount, or three. So you see, every one of these, let's just pick Artie Nielsen. Um, so here's 19, 2, 21,000, 23,000. So basically, Artie Nielsen makes 21,000. The person before him made 19, 2, or makes 19, 2. And the person after him makes 23,000. So, and I could have just called these rows lead or, you know, lead and lag, but I didn't. I just called them previous and next just to give them some kind of an intelligible thing. 
So, you know, it seems pretty simple, and you're still thinking, when am I ever going to use this? Trust me, you will use this later on. Let me show you one last thing. Now what I'm going to do, okay, I'm just going to show lag. You know what lead does, okay? Lead is the next one higher. You know what lag does, it's one lower. I'm just going to use lag, but now I'm going to do a partition by. And I'm going to partition by the department. So now, um, watch what happens. Okay, so let me do this. Dun, dun, dun. See, now it's a little different. Now, because it's a partition or a window operation or a window um, function, now every department is its own thing. So you see here, now there's no, there's no lag for the first value. But see, we had, that, um, we had that on basically every other page. Like, this is null, you know. Um, oh, that's right, because I have to go up here. Boo. Uh, oh, that's lag. Okay, sorry. Dun, 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 dun. See, the lag, the lag is always null for the first one, but that was for the whole query. Oops. But that was for the whole query, for the whole entire record set. But now, because we're partitioning, it's null for each department. Because in each department, this guy made the makes the lowest, so there's nobody lower than him. And then for HR, this guy makes the lowest, so there's nobody below him. This guy, well, there's nobody below him. He's the only intern. By the way, why is an intern getting paid? I'm going to have to talk to HR about this. But since none of them really exist in real life... Okay, IT, same thing. Wait a minute, why is somebody in IT only making... Well, I shouldn't say that. Okay, so you get that. So when we partition... It does it by the field that we're partitioning by, which is department. And so that's why it looks like this. And then it restarts every time. And by the way, you can call this whole thing an analytical function, or you can call it a window function. Please do not call it a Windows function. Windows is an operating system. Window is a term used in SQL. It's part of a specification for these kinds of um, applications of these functions that save you all kinds of time coding. Do you have any idea how much scripting you would have to do in coding to get this to look like this without using this one line? You would need temp tables, you would have to loop through stuff. Please don't tell me you'd use a cursor, just use a while loop. Um, you'd have to do all this stuff. I could do this, I could get this to look just like this, but it would take me an hour to write it and it would probably be about 500 to 800 lines of code with indenting, you know, and you know, double spacing because I like that. But it would just it would t it would just be horrendous. So anyway, that's how that works with lag and lead. If you like this video, please consider hitting the like button. Uh, if you love this video, uh, maybe you want to consider become us becoming a subscriber because then this way that really helps the channel, and then I can spend more time doing this and helping you guys out. Thanks, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.